by saying congratulations on the brand new EP. I've been able to have a little bit of a listen to it, and it's absolutely fantastic. So congratulations. Well, thank thank you so much. I'm glad you like it, man. Now, for our listeners out there who haven't had a chance to take a listen to it, they've only been able to take a listen to Hive Mind so far. Tell us a little bit about the EP and what people can expect to hear on this EP. So, the EP is a little bit of a of a change of change of pace for us. So, we decided to, you know, go back to the drawing board, start from the ground up, and we we decided we wanted to keep the really heavy elements of what we had in our previous releases but also kind of make it a little bit more interesting and a little bit more experimental a good analogy that i think mark came up with in the studio was it's kind of like if spirit box had a baby with the weekend this is the product you'd get so um yeah i think it's interesting we definitely tried a lot of new different things there's also uh, a sneaky story that i attached to it lyrically that I guess will come out in the next coming weeks. Awesome. So tell us a little bit about the more experimental side. How did you guys go about being more experimental this time around? Uh, So everything that we do is recorded in-house with our engineer, Mark, uh, who's also the guitarist for the band. So we we usually would go into into the situation of recording using, uh, I guess, influences... um, you know, direct influences and kind of creatively stealing from other other musicians, if you will. But this time we kind of just, um, you know, we didn't have any outline. We didn't have a deadline for the release. So we just kind of started with stuff that we would, wouldn't conventionally start with. We started using samples that we found online, which for a heavy band is not really something I see a lot of. So relying heavily on like sampling and digital elements and creating synthesizers from the ground up was something that we've never kind of experimented with. So it's very much so synth driven in terms of the experimentation and kind of figuring out how that all works in with the heavy and pop combo, which we kind of are are always stuck to. So, yeah. Yeah, well, the result is absolutely amazing. And and tracks like Hive Mind, that's pretty quickly taken off on our show. People seem to be loving it. It's got such deep lyrics. Tell us a little bit about what was inspiring you lyrically for, for this EP, and especially with Hive Mind. So the lyrics, uh, Hive Mind was the first song we wrote of the EP. That happened when we was kind of put into, I guess, the new world lockdowns where we couldn't really leave our houses that much. So we we were stuck in a room and we were just, um, I guess, not aggravated, just kind of, you know, pondering what, what this new world kind of looks like. And it ended up, you know, turning into a little bit of a, a little, you know, uh, I guess, uh, poem about capitalism and how we feel about it and how it's affecting, you know, um, I guess the future, like how we're just becoming a very, you know, consumption based, you know, society. So that's where it all started. And then after that, I started to ponder the idea of writing a, a, a novel to go around the whole EP so that everything has like a, a purpose. Um, so lyrically, it all kind of t- ties around this novel that I created, which is which takes place in a dystopian society, which is kind of the perfect platform to talk about, you know, these really tough issues. Awesome. And is, is that your first novel? Is that the first time you've, you've sat down to write a novel? Or is that something that you've uh, done in the past as well? This is absolutely the first time I've ever tried to do anything like this. <laughs> awesome. So what was the experience like for you to sit down and create this whole dystopian world? That must have been something that it, it's just amazing that you were able to do that. Yeah, it definitely did take a lot of time and a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of changes and things and things like that. Um, yeah, it was it was good. I think it was good for me to kind of go on go on that journey of writing, of creating something bigger than just music and lyrics. Um especially when, you know, work was not consistent. I was stuck at home and ev- uh, there was a whole lot of uncertainty in the world. So that was a kind of certainty for me, knowing that I could kind of always go back to this story and keep adding to it and changing it and make it more polished. And I, I wanted to write it so that, you know, it, it would reflect to, even though it takes place in, in in a dystopian future, it still makes a whole lot of sense of, about what we're experiencing, I guess, in today. So it was a little, it was a cathartic experience for me. 
So, talking about the lockdowns, did that change the way that you all put this EP together? Because I know for some bands it meant that there was more work that had to be done at home rather than in the studio and things like that. Luckily for us, we, we have an in-house engineer, Mark, who's been doing all our all our recordings from day dot. So it wasn't too much of a shift of how we how we recorded. But in terms of, you know, our process of we, uh, practicing and recording and kind of bouncing between the two. So we maintain the live the live elements of our of our band. It kind of went full focus into just the um, and what we could do in the recording sense. So we, we did a lot more of it, in, in all honesty, what we we would usually take maybe, you know, six months to a year to write an EP and this one took a little bit longer just for the fact that we just spent so much more time working on it and polishing every little detail. And you've just recently had a signing as well with Resist Records. Tell us a little bit about how that's come about and what that means for you as a band as well. So really happy to have Resist on board with the band now. It was um, something when we were... After the last EP, we, we thought we wanted to take the next step in in our career and start looking, venturing out for a record label to see, you know, who'd be interested in our brand of, um, I guess, metalcore, post-hardcore, whatever whatever you want to call it. And the the name on the top of every single list we came up with was Resist Records. We see what they did for for bands like uh, Polaris, Parkway Drive, and th- those are big names within our scene. So, um we we got in touch with with Graham from Resist and he loved the EP and I think it was a it's a dream team coming together and I think just bigger and better things are ahead for um, Inertia and Resist. Definitely. Now, what are, what are your plans for the rest of this year for the band with the EP coming out on March eighteenth? Are you guys hoping to get out there and do some shows now that everything's opening back up as well? Yeah, we definitely look looking back to chase lost time on that one. Um, we've we are doing a tour uh, with AMPM uh, emo night. Yep. Um, and that's going to be happening in across April and May, and with a couple friends along the way, we, we're going to be hitting at every major city. And our goal for this year is to just uh, hit everywhere we can. We want to play as much shows as we can and get uh, our EP to as much ears as possible. Awesome. And how can our listeners help you guys out at the moment? We know it's been tough for everybody in the music industry over the last few years. How can our listeners help you guys out? Uh, I guess if the, the, the best thing you can do is just listen to our music. That's that's the number one. That's what we're trying to do as a band. We want to reach as much people as possible. Um, if you if you're free and available, come to one of our shows. We'd love we, we put on a great live show that I think you'd all enjoy. And, um, yeah, support any local artist, really. It's not only us that's doing it tough. Support them either by merch, by buying merch online or coming out to a show. I'm sure everyone's really stoked to see everyone come out and have a good time. Awesome, definitely. Well, we're going to play Hive Mind on our show again right now, but what would you like to say to everybody out there before they go out and grab a copy of the EP on the 18th as well? Um, yeah, that's a great question. This EP is a culmination of a lot of a lot of time and a lot of hard work that we've put into this, and I hope that comes across. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it resonates with you in a way that we we intended it to, and just enjoy. <laughs> 